What's up guys and welcome back to another video as you saw in the previous video my top 15 rugby players of the June Internationals if you haven't seen it already make sure you click on the icon so you can recap that one in that video I did a poll where I said should I do a north versus south um, team uh, well video to express who are my top players from the north top players from the south and 99.9 .9 of you said do it so today I came with you for this video. It was an exciting one to do. So many talented players from around the world of rural rugby. This was as exciting as it was to do. It was also very tough to do um, because we got so many great players from around the world. And there were situations where I wanted to use this guy but couldn't and where I wanted to maybe swap a guy out but I just didn't feel it was right or in some cases I did. Um, so it will be interesting to hear what your guys' top um, squad is for North and South and versus mine. And then we could chat about it in the comment section. So make sure you let me know your team um, in the comment section down below or who you would replace and put in and vice versa. So let's get to it with the first position is number one. Right, as you guys can see in the images, I went for the Welshman, Rob Evans, and Australia, Scott Sear. Now, Scott was in my top 15 team. Rob Evans is my added guy to the north side. Both talented players who are just brilliant in their field of play. Obviously, Rob Evans played for Wales, done well for Wales. Um, obviously, against the Argentines, against South Africa, against... Um, South Africa last year and in the Six Nations so for me it was a no-brainer to pick that legend and Scott has had a very good impact um, over the Irish tour so credit to him as well then we go to number two now you guys are probably shocked thinking what the hell wasn't expecting this one but I had to pick it because this man Joe he had an instrumental role in USA's victory over Scotland. Played well, he's been developing well, he's been part of the USA squad for quite a number of years now and I just had to pick him in. Definite impact against the Scots, which was a big win for them. Obviously it was a third team, but credit where credit is due, the man played well and he's in my squad. Cody Taylor, Cody Taylor from New Zealand is my guy from the south. Obviously, you remember that because he was in my top 15 as well. So, I think that was a good number two pairing. Um, let's get to the next one. Number three from the north is a no-brainer. You guys will know. Tied for long. Genius with the ball. Fantastic prop. So strong in his position. One of the best in world rugby. Um, and I had to put him in. Then I went for the the South team and I went with Sekope Kepu from Australia. This guy also had a very good impact in the tests against Ireland. Scrummed well, showed a lot of courage and strength within the team and just because of the way Australia played against Ireland, they had a very good tournament. Yes, they lost and all that stuff, but they showed a lot of strength and for me, um, Kepu stood out and I had to put him in my squad for this one. We get to player number four, Joe uh, Lonchenberry from England I've picked, as well as Scott Barrett from New Zealand. A lot of you said, where's Scott Barrett in your top 15 video world? Well, guys, he is here in this video. Um, Joe obviously had a tough one, came in on the second test against um, South Africa, instrumental role, drove the South Africans mad and had a strong impact in the team and yes England lost a series but it's impact I'm looking for, it's players making a difference, showing up, putting their hand up in tough situations and for me Joe did that whether you agree or not and I've put him in my squad and Scott Barrett had an amazing tournament, very tough not to put him in my squad um, in the top 15 but he had amazing impact and he's a great player and I just had to put him in um, my South team. He's a fantastic player and I'm looking forward to seeing him grow and develop as New Zealand rugby continues to dominate. As number five, also no-brainer from here, it's 
James Ryan, who was in my top 15 um, video, as well as Franco Mostad. These boy keys I've, I've spoke about a bit in detail in the top 15 video. Both fantastic players, had a great series, and again, no-brainer putting, putting them in my team as they were in my top 15 team. Get to number six, also players you will recognize if you've seen the top 15 video. Ellis Jenkins from Wales, great, uh, great season he had um, against Argentina. Stood out for me, had a good impact against South Africa when South Africa lost to Wales. David Pocock, we all know that man, he's a genius at the game. He, he plays hard, he's strong, he's determined, he's, 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 he's just a brilliant player. And again, as I said in the previous video, he hadn't played rugby for 14 months and the fact that he came back and made such a big impact was outstanding for me. So, no-brainer. Right, number seven, we got Peter Manny and Michael Hooper. Peter Manny, obviously from Ireland, strong player. Great player, determined player, passionate about what he did. He had an impact in the Six Nations. He played hard and strong in um, for Ireland in the in the Aussie tour. And then we got obviously Michael Hooper from Australia, instrumental. He is the captain. He plays hard. He's he's a fighter. He's a chirper. He's a go getter. Um, a lot of passion for his country and just never gives up and has that right attitude for a team that just doesn't want to lose. So credit to him. Also, he's been around with Australia in the good and bad times. Um, and I've got to give credit where credit is due. Hooper for me, no brain in the squad. Number eight, we go to South African slash Irish player. CJ Stander and then obviously you guys know who my number eight is from the top 15 Mr. Dwayne Vermeulen both fantastic players both outstanding at um, at what they do hard fighters strong fighters CJ Stander what a player he is he's done so well for Ireland he's done so well for his provincial teams he should be playing for the bloody Springboks but the stupid coaches there who said he's too small opened their big mouths and we lost him fantastic player and he's got to be in my squad for the north Dwayne from Newland, you guys know how good he is what i said about him in the previous video our vice captain sad we lost him to japan but oh well it's the stupid rules that we have but um, fantastic players and they got to be in my north and south squad Number nine, we go to my favorite scrum off in the world, which you guys know, Connor Murray, um, also in my top 15 video. And then I went to South African, Fafta Clack, who had an instrumental uh, role for the Springboks, helped us win definitely the first test against England, was strong in the second test, bit shaky in the third with his box kicks, but we know why he had to do it because of the weather, but he was strong. If there's an explanation and an example of dynamite comes in small packages, it is Fafo's the clack. He is fantastic at what he does, and my word, he had to be in my squad. And Conor Murray, I couldn't say anything more great about the man. Got a lot of time for him, and he's obviously in my squad. Number 10, you will recognize from the World 15, 15 video that I did, Johnny Sexton, no-brainer. Um, he's fantastic at everything he does. And Damien McKenzie, I've put in as my fly-off for the north side. Uh, sorry, for the south side. I would have had Bowden Barrett, but just with the injuries that he had, he had faced, I just... I wanted to go with Damien, just judging on in injuries. I will do a proper video of the full world team without injuries closer to the time. But um, for me, Damien McKenzie was an outstanding player, big impact, strong kicker, tactical kicker. Someone in the, in the comment section said he's overrated and not that great. Personally, I disagree. I think he's an outstanding player. Someone also said Johnny Sexton and Conor Murray are overrated. But I disagree once again. Those guys are fantastic rugby players and I have a lot of time for them. Number 11, we go to Keith Earls, the legend from Ireland. And I went forth Rico Leone. Leone. I said it wrong again, sorry guys. 
but f- both fantastic players. Rico scored the hat trick. He scored tries coming out of it. He is strong, determined, quick, powerful player, and brilliant for the All Blacks. Keith Earls, we know how good he is. He's just strong. Just the name alone needs to be in the squad. He's experienced. He's determined. He's strong. He's got the right attitude for the game. And I just couldn't leave him out. Leave him out my squad. He's a fantastic um, rugby player. Number 12. As you can see, I've gone with Owen Farrell and Kurtley Beale. Kurtley Beale was in my top 15 video, like I said before. So I've said enough about that man, but he's a genius and a legend at the game. Owen Farrell, you may say, why the hell did you put him in the team? He's part of a losing team that lost the series. Owen Farrell is a damn good player, guys. He's strong, he's determined. Yes, he whined a bit in the tests, but he was instrumental in England's win in that final test. And I think people forget how how important that test win was for England and for me because of his leadership and he, he, he might not be the captain for England but his playing and his skillfulness definitely helped England win the game against um, South Africa and he, to me it's a no-brainer to have him in my team not to have him in my team he's a fantastic player Number 13, I went with Gary Ringrose from Ireland and Anton Leonard Brown, who was obviously in my top 15 video. I've also said my say on him, so make sure you, if you haven't checked it, check that video up above in the i cards. Gary Ringrose is a strong player, determined, also had the impact for the Irish team, and um, I had to just select him in my team. I like what he's doing, I like what he's for, I like the way he plays. Obviously, um, Bundy is Akai is also a great player, um, and there are other players that stood up, but just for me, I'm picking Gary Ringrose in my squad. 14. Number 14, I've gone with Johnny May from England. Fantastic player, also in my top 15 video. He stood out, he put his hand up in pressure situations, scored tries in every game against South Africa. Got to be in my team. And then I went for number 14. This was a tough one. I originally had Ben Smith, and I know how good Ben Smith is, guys. Don't get me wrong. He's fantastic, he's brilliant. But Ben Smith played against France. France was smashed. Yes, they had their moments where they fought and all that stuff. But New Zealand were clear dominant favourites. I wanted to go for a player that... One, he was a debutant. Two, he played his first first big series against England, who we all know is a great team. And he stood out. He scored tries. He played strong. He was determined. He was quick. He was nippy. I was very impressed with Nkosi. Um, and he had to be in my squad. Whether you agree or not, obviously, let me know who you would rather have in. But for me, he stood out. Number 15, I've got Stuart Hogg from Scotland and Israel Falau from Australia. Both fantastic players. Hoggy, we may think why Scotland didn't have the greatest, but just his name alone is great. He's a brilliant player. He stands out strong. Um, and I had to put him in my team. Falau, we all know what he's capable of. Yes, he had a yellow card in the previous game, but forget about the yellow card. He still makes an impact for Australian rugby. And I just had to simply have him team he's outstanding at what he does and stood out and hoggy's the same for scotland so yeah that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it it is the top 15 for north and south let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below who would you have in who would you rather put in and all that stuff if you haven't already make sure you subscribed and i'll see you guys real soon for another video also give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it but don't forget comment section down below who you would rather have in the team in place of the guys i picked up thanks so much for watching thanks so much for your support more videos to come so hit that subscribe button stay safe and never give up cheers